Thank you, Jesus. 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 Azabala diata. Zevanda da da balagados. Hey, yes, Lord. Haya da balagados. Ikande de de vele brasata. Iprando zevaga diata. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mandele bresa. Yes, Lord. Mega dos. Aleleve usa. In Jesus' name. Aleleve usa. Mandele bresa. Zevalo hosa. Zevregadava. Jesus. Gados. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you, Alan. God bless you so much. God bless you all indeed tonight for joining, coming on. I want you to go ahead and invite your followers. Go ahead and invite somebody. Share this video on your Facebook, on your pages. I believe that somebody needs to hear this. God is the master match maker. God, well God bless you. You know the comments on scope, it goes so fast. It goes so fast that by the time I want to respond, it's already um, disappeared. But I want you to know that I truly cherish your comments. God bless you. God bless you. I want you to share this video. Invite your followers. In the name of Jesus. We praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, God bless you, prayer network. Those of you on the prayer network, thank you very much for calling in. Uh, I believe that the steps of a good man indeed are ordered by the Lord. And I strongly believe that God has set you apart for such a time as this, for his will, for his purpose. And I strongly believe that what men call impossible in our life is about to be made manifest easily in Jesus' name in our life. I strongly believe that the hand of God is upon the life of many people under the sound of my voice. Because if the hand of God wasn't upon you, you wouldn't have come this far. I strongly believe so, that the hand of God is upon many people under the sound of my voice tonight. That is one main reason why you've been able to come this far. And so I pray tonight that that same hand will take you where you ought to be, where you need to be, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Spirit of God, tonight I pray that you speak to your people. I pray 
that you move on our behalf in the name of Jesus. I pray tonight that you fix any issue that needs to be fixed in the lives of your people. Father, let the issue of wisdom be fixed. Let the issue of understanding be fixed. Let every issue, every issue of wisdom be fixed. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus for the healing of the saints under the sound of my voice. I pray that you heal every sick person under the sound of my voice tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Let our family members be healed. Let the sick among us be healed. In the name of Jesus, even those watching the replay. Father, I pray tonight in the name of Jesus that you release your healing power upon your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Heavenly Father, I pray tonight in the name of Jesus that you open doors for your people this day. In the name of Jesus, let this day be a day of miracles for your people. Let this day be a day of divine encounters for us. Let this day be a day of divine encounters for us. Let this day be a day of divine appointment. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, open doors for your people. Grant your people divine appointments appointments in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i pray for favor for us this day may you favor us in this new day may you favor us before men favor us before your throne in this new day let your favor oh god reign in our lives in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god I pray that those who have come like, like Saul looking for one thing, I pray in the name of Jesus that you blow their minds with another. Saul went to Samuel looking for his father's lost animal, but he left a king. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus that as we approach this new day, Father, with our own plans and with our own desires, I pray that you cause your will to be established in our life. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, let your perfect will be established in our life in this day. In the name of Jesus, as it is written, that many are the plans of a man, but it is the purpose of God that shall be established. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus, that you, O oh God, will cause your purpose to be established in our life in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. May we not do things the way we want to do it. May we do it the way you want us to do it. Father, in the name of Jesus, lead us on the path of righteousness. Lead us on the path of purpose. Lead us on the path of divine purpose. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, may we not miss a step. May we not miss an opportunity. May we not miss any blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, as you have done always, do it again. As you have done always, Always do it again as you have done always do it again bless your people indeed bless us beyond measure bless us beyond measure blow our minds in the name of Jesus I pray for God kind of ideas I pray for God kind of ideas. I pray for God kind of ideas. In the mighty name of Jesus, let there be a release of the God class of ideas. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, tonight we receive God class ideas. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, concerning our meeting on the 7th and the 8th of September, September in Dallas, Texas, I pray in the name of Jesus that you cause your spirit to feel the prayer and worship experience. Cause our meeting to be an experience indeed. In the name of Jesus, an experience of power, an experience of your anointing, an experience of your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray tonight that you will cause limitations to be broken that you will cause obstacles to be removed in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God 
as the master matchmaker i pray tonight that father you will cause you match us up with the right destiny helpers and with the right people for our desti- our walk in this life in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god we thank you we give you glory in jesus name amen i want you to type amen if you believe it on the prayer network just holla amen holla amen well last night right before we got off uh, many of you heard me say god is the master matchmaker god is the master matchmaker uh, throughout this day or yesterday uh, depending on your time zone i strongly believe that god has been ministering to me concerning the fact that he is the master matchmaker uh, uh, if you see god as the master matchmaker uh, half of your issues with relationship i believe is already solved yeah if you see god as your master matchmaker i believe that the issue of relationship be it business relationship casual relationship romantic romantic relationship whatever relationship relationship is in ministry all that is halfway solved or fully solved if you see god as your master matchmaker he is my master matchmaker he is your master matchmaker the question is do you see him as is do you see him as your master matchmaker now the bible makes me understand that at midnight at midnight a man named boaz discovered his wife he he, he this he, this had nothing to do with boaz this had nothing to do with boaz uh, this had everything to do with god uh, in, in the book of Ruth, chapter 3, verse 8, the Bible says that, And it came to pass at midnight. Now, before I even talk about this, we, we all know the story of Ruth. And if you're just joining us, you've not shared this video, I want you to go ahead and share it. Um, I want you to go ahead and share it. I'm not going to be too long. I'll probably finish this up tomorrow. Uh, but I want you to go ahead and share this because somebody needs to hear this somebody needs to hear this somebody now tonight is for those who have been trying to do stuff with their strength with your strength for so long you've been trying to connect with some people for so long you you you've done everything that you know how to do in the book you 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 you've sent the emails you know how to send you've sent the gifts that you know how to send you've been to the places where you know to go to and 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 you still have not received the desired results maybe you're looking for a job this is for you maybe you're looking for the right life partner this is for you maybe you're looking for the right customers in your business this is for you maybe you're looking for a husband or a wife this is for you god is the master matchmaker god is the master matchmaker and tonight i just want to talk to you briefly and I'll say just one prayer over your life and believe God for miracles. He's already done it, I believe. And it's just about to be made manifest in our life. It's just about to be made manifest in our life. Now hear me. And so Ruth is, is such a great woman. I, I really admire Ruth. She's a loyal woman. She's very, very loyal. She, she's married to uh, a man who ends up dying and after the death of this man he she understands something that everybody around her does not understand now two of them there was another one called Oprah Opa Opa also set off to do the same thing that Ruth was doing Opa decided to return uh, with her mother-in-law back to her hometown the mother-in-law's hometown and uh, and Opera and Ruth and of course Naomi who happened to be their mother-in-law set up set off on this journey and 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 it was such a great journey they all they were all excited at first to go on this journey even though Naomi did not have a thing to her name she didn't have a dollar a dime to her name but yet 
they all decided to follow her however however uh their conviction was in question and so uh, Naomi looks at them, both of them, and says, you know what? I, I cannot help you. I have nothing for you. You all are beautiful young ladies. You, you have a life to live. And if I am to give birth to a child today, I don't think this child is going to grow and become old enough for you all to get married to this child, uh, even if... Uh, it, I was supposed to, I was going to go that route. And so following me really for real, uh, you know, there is no hope for you. Uh, I have no money to my name. I have no properties to my name. And, and, and Naomi tries to explain to these young ladies that this really is a risky deal that you trying to uh, 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 do. And so I would advise you that you go back to where you came from. For adventure, you might find you a man who would marry you. I understand you loved my children so much, but they, they dead and gone. Uh, and we all in the same boat. Y'all widows, I'm a widow too. I can't help you. But, uh, but the Bible makes us understand that, uh, 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 upper decides to go back to where she came from uh she decides to go back to where, where she came from and 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 if that was my subject tonight i'll probably uh be telling you tonight to be very careful about who you roll with yeah uh, i'll probably tell you to check the conviction level of those that you roll with uh, are they really there for you or they really they just go in with the flow of the wind uh, suppose everything that they get from you was taken away from you would they still be there for you yeah 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 that you know uh, uh, if you a mother you know this you know uh, if you a mother you know this. sometimes even in relationships uh, 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 you know, you, you, you sometimes act like you ain't got nothing just to see uh, what the other person would do. And you, you come up with all kinds of stuff to test the, uh, uh, the, the, the commitment of people or the loyalty of people or uh, the, their conviction. Just like the Christian walk with God, there are times that we go through so much. You go through trials and tribulations and temptations, and all that is to test your faith and strengthen your faith. The more tests you go through or the more tests you survive, the stronger your faith becomes. That is no, it, it is therefore of no surprise to me that the Bible says that count it all joy when you go into diverse temptations. Why? Because all all these diverse temptations and things that you go through only strengthens your bond with God. The, the challenges that you go through in your Christian walk with God only strengthens your, your bond or your relationship with God. The more you go through, the more you get to know God. We see God being referred to as uh, uh, El Olam. It, it was because somebody went through something and therefore called him El Olam. We see God uh, being referred to as Jehovah. Somebody experienced God as Jehovah. And so the more we go through, through the more we experience the nature of God we see God being referred to as Jehovah Jireh because he was at one point in time and forevermore a provider to somebody and so somebody called him Jehovah Jireh we see God being referred to as Shalom because somebody went through something and ended up experiencing God as a God of peace and so he calls him Jehovah Shalom. We see God being referred to as Jehovah or Yahweh Rapha because somebody uh, went through something and experienced God, this God, as a God of healing. And so they called him Jehovah Rapha. We see someone refer referring to this God as Jehovah Nisi because someone went through something and they, they, they experienced this God as a God of, of victory, a God of victory. And so they called him Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, my banner, my banner of victory. And, and it goes on and on and on and on. We see others refer to him as Jehovah Mikdash because they experience him as a God 
who sanctifies uh, and so and so the more you go through the more you get a better revelation of God the more you go through them the, the more you get a better revelation of God and so I strongly believe that that there are times you need to sit back and regroup refocus and relook at the people that you roll with why are they with you and are they really for you provided all the odds were against you are they still going to be there for you and and that's these are the, the people that you need in life it's good to identify them identify who they are identify who they are i'm not saying you're gonna have to cut everybody off no i'm just saying identify your roots identify your root the fact that Opa was cut off from Naomi did not mean she was completely out of the life of Naomi uh, 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 Opa was still and would forever be a, a, a daughter of Naomi all right or daughter-in-law of naomi because she was once married to his his son uh but that's not my subject tonight that's not my subject tonight but i i just went there because i believe it's going to help somebody and so their faith or their 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 commitment was tested their conviction was tested it is very important that that your the conviction of those whose claim are for you is tested you you got to test it sometimes you got to check out who's really for you and who's not all right so that's just a brief synopsis about uh ruth and so ruth decides well wherever you go i'm going with you i'm not going to turn back i'm not going to be like opa i'm not going to follow the crowd and, and you got to watch out for those who follow the crowd they everybody's friend they on on instagram they like what you like even though they don't like what you like in for real they just like what you like they 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 follow who you follow they 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 claim to to be the friend of whoever you friends with they friends with your friends they they talk your talk you got to be careful of such people you got to be careful of such people they go with the wind with the direction of the wind you got to be careful because if the wind blows against you they're gonna be against you be careful uh, a wise man once said that you are very lucky in life if you get one good friend one good friend in life you are you are very very lucky i say you are very blessed if you find one good friend in life a friend is difficult to come by that is why it is important that this prayer is prayed heartfeltly tonight or fervently tonight in your own private space you want to cry out to god and tell him lord send me Lord, send me my right match in life, in my business, in my career, in, in my walk with you. I need the right match. You might be married, but you still need the right match in life. You still need the right match. And most of the time, because of our selfish nature, when we hear God as a God or when we hear that God is referred to as a matchmaker, we quickly think of marriage alone. But you need a match in your business in your career in 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 your in in every aspect of your life without the right match your your ship or your boat might end up drowning we see it uh, in the life of or in the story of Jonah Jonah is not a right match in the ship they all find themselves in the ship uh, from different walks of life traveling going towards one direction but because they have a mismatch in the ship or in the boat uh, the, this ship is attacked by a storm and and this storm is one that they have never experienced before why because there is a mismatch anytime you, there is a mismatch in your life you might experience some unwanted storms it was not until they got rid of their mismatch that the storm ceased it was not until they got rid of their mismatch until the storm ceased it is my prayer tonight that any mismatch in your life will be fixed by the by the master matchmaker in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god can you hear me clearly because i see uh folks uh hollering at me um well hello back to you 
but Facebook, can y'all hear me clearly? Praise God. All right. So we experience, we, we, we see Jonah experiencing a mismatch. Uh, I mean, the st in the story of Jonah, the boat, the ship experienced a mismatch because Jonah was on the boat. He was not supposed to be on there. I wonder tonight who is on your boat or on your ship who's not supposed to be on your ship. It is my prayer that everyone on our ship who is not supposed to be on our ship be identified. There are times we need you need the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God is Jesus. According to 1 Corinthians, he is the wisdom of God. We need the wisdom of God to identify the Jonas in our boat or in our ship. We need the wisdom of God to also identify the Ruth in our life. It is very necessary. It is very, very needed. We see this same thing happen in the book of Acts. Uh, 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 uh. Paul is embarking on a journey. And, and Paul, great man Paul, anointed man Paul, man of peace Paul, he's, he's embarking on a journey. And, and, and it is well known that Paul loves to travel with, uh, 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 with John Mark. There was a man whose name, whose first name was John and his last name was Mark. He, Paul had gone on previous journey with uh, journeys with, with John Mark. And so this time around, everybody is expecting that Paul goes on a journey again with John Mark. It's, it's very, 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 very necessary, important, very, very important that you, 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 you 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 desire discernment in life because without discernment paul would have done what he always did and ended up spending more time in prison but right before he goes on this journey this time around he chooses decides not to go with john mark why because john mark in the past somewhat showed some signs of disappointment uh well maybe tonight if you would permit me to pr let you know that it is very very necessary not to ignore the warning signs we you don't if you ignore the warning signs on the road on the highway on the street you might end up getting a ticket or getting an, an accident or uh if you you could easily lose your life if you ignore the warning signs if if you if you fail to stop at a stop sign you might you might end up in a wreck and so it is very important in life to 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 not ignore the warning signs watch out for the warning signs watch out for the signs that people should be accept people when they show you who they are when they show you their weakness their when they show you who they are accept them believe be believe what you see <laughs> accept folks accept don't try to change nobody accept them for who they are and what they are and use wisdom to place them or rightfully categorize them all right rightfully categorize. and so paul has this kind of wisdom and so paul decides this time around not to go with john mark and it becomes uh, a big thing and they begin to argue there was contention but he stood on his grounds with pure discernment from heaven you will stand your ground with pure discernment from heaven you will stand your ground it is my prayer tonight in the name of jesus that god will give us pure wisdom from heaven it is my prayer that our discernment will be sharpened like never before in the name of jesus christ the son of of the living God. It is my prayer tonight that heaven will sharpen our discernment. Like Paul, may we discern on who to move with, who to roll with, and who not to roll with. May we discern on what to do and what not to do. May our discernment be sharpened, not only for spiritual things, but also for, for, for the things of the natural. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, may heaven, may God, may, may Elohim, may El Elyon, sharpen our discernment so much so that even in our businesses, we will know what to do, what to invest in, and what not to invest in. May the spirit of discernment rest upon us tonight. May the spirit of discernment rest upon us tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. 
Hear me? It is important. It's necessary. As a leader, you need discernment. Else you're going to employ the wrong people. You're going to hire the wrong people. You're going you to put, you know, one familiarity can set in, can make you make some really, 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 really unpleasant decisions. Place folks where they, they don't have no business being because you're familiar with them. All right? Opa was familiar with Naomi, and so was Naomi familiar with Opa. But Naomi had to use discernment and wisdom to speak to these two ladies. He said to the, she said to them, I have nothing for you. I want you to go back. That was a test, in my opinion. That was a test. And this test separated the wheat from the chaff. This test separated Ruth from Naomi. And so here comes Ruth. Ruth says, well, wherever you go, I'm going to go with you. Wherever you go, I'm going to go with you. Wherever you go, I'm going to go with you. And Ruth continues the journey. Well, John Mark said the same thing. He wanted to go with Paul. But Paul said, no, I can't go with you. I need somebody else. And he ends up going with Silas. And we see what happens at midnight in Acts chapter 16. When Paul and Silas were in prison. He, they prayed together because they were a good match. They sang together because they were a good match. You need somebody to pray together with. You need somebody that you can sing together with when you're in trouble. When y'all find yourself in a pit, you don't need nobody telling you what you did wrong in the pit. You need somebody who's going to say, you know what? We might be wrong, but we wrong together. We might be right. We right together. Whatever it is, let's fix this. And so because of the good decision he made by choosing Silas, when they found themselves in prison, they were able to come out of it. It is my prayer tonight that God will give us a good match in life. God will satisfy us with good matches so that we will be able to come out of every situation in the name of Jesus. We will be, we'll be able to come out of every situation successfully in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus, even in our schools, the schools of our children, uh, even even in the colleges, I pray in the name of Jesus that Heavenly Father, that you will match our children, you will match our nieces, you will match our family members up with the right people in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I thank you tonight. I believe it's done. Hear me. And so Ruth continues on this journey with Naomi and when they get to their destination Ruth decides to be a virtuous woman question would you be a virtuous person even when would you be a virtuous woman even when there is no man would you be a virtuous man even when there is no woman Ruth didn't have no husband but she chose to remain virtuous she chose to keep her qualities. My time is up. She, she chose to keep her qualities. And so she decides, well, we ain't got no food. And so I'm going to go in and look for some bread for us. She hears somebody's field. Is ready for harvest and you know in those days whenever it was harvest time our folks would you know of course need help in harvesting their crops or whatever they grew on their farm and so you could go in as a temp and so she decides to go in as a temporary employee she goes in as a temporary employee my god she goes in as a temporary employee. I want to talk to somebody looking for a job. You might not have your desired job yet. But in the process of waiting, you might need a temp. You might need to become a temp for some time. Because the ways of God 
are not our ways. God can turn a temp. God can turn a temp position into a permanent position for you. Or God can use a temp position as a stepping stone for you to become a queen or a king. But anyway, and so she chooses to become a temp while she's still waiting for the ultimate. And in the process of fulfilling the call of God upon her life, in the process of doing this thing, okay, I see some folks from Texas here. Praise God. In the process of doing this thing that she knows she's maybe called to do, in the process of doing this thing that she deems her purpose at that, in, at that point in time in life, she runs into a miracle. She runs into a miracle. Now, in Ruth chapter 3 verse 8, and I'm done right after this scripture. In the book of Ruth chapter 3 verse 8, we, ex we see how Ruth goes to lay at the feet of the owner of the farm. His name was Boaz. Now Ruth was busy. She was just busy trying to fulfill her assignment, her purpose. But in the process of doing this, she runs into a breakthrough. The Bible says, and at midnight, or it came to pass at midnight, that the man was afraid and turned himself. And behold, a woman lay at his feet. That was when Boaz discovered Ruth. This had nothing to do with Boaz. Boaz did not go to sleep that night saying, Lord, let me find me a wife tonight on my bed. Boaz didn't go to sleep saying, Lord, let me find me a Ruth on my bed tonight. It had nothing to do with Boaz. It had everything to do with the master matchmaker. God realized, now you got to realize that in that harvest field were a bunch of virgins. There were a bunch of very beautiful virgins. In that harvest field. And so in the merit. According to the merit of qualification. Ruth didn't qualify. To even come. Before Boaz. As a candidate. For marriage. Ruth had been married before. And in those days. If your husband died. While you were still young. In the Eastern culture, it was assumed that you were either a witch, that there was something wrong with you, or you carry some kind of bad luck. And so looking at all the odds, she didn't qualify to get anywhere close to Boaz. That tells you that there had to be a God factor in this situation. And I pray tonight in the name of Jesus that whatever your situation is, let the God factor be made manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. It is my prayer tonight that heaven will break the rules for our sake. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. It is my prayer that heaven will break the rules for our sake. It is my prayer that heaven will break the rules for our sake. It is my prayer that heaven will break the rules for our sake. We don't deserve it, but let God fail for us in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God all along the master matchmaker had a plan Ruth watch this Ruth was busy trying to fulfill her call or her mission her assignment the problem, I believe, 
with some is that there are times we just drop everything. We drop everything and focus on one big problem. And until we see a sign or a solution to that one big problem, we don't do nothing else. Ruth had a problem. She was married. She was single. Another problem, she was hungry. No food. Another problem, folks probably talked about her. Because what she wore depicted the fact that she was not a virgin. Folks don't talk about her. On the field, she had a whole bunch of problems. But she decided not to focus on her problems. She decided to stay focused on her assignment. My question to you tonight is, what is your assignment? What have you found your hands to do? The Bible says, whatever you find your hands to do, do it with all your heart, with all your might. Do it well. What have you been assigned to do? Now, Ruth could have been busy looking at all the other beautiful virgins. Lord, I'm not. I lost my V card because I was married. Lord, I'm not as beautiful as these women. She could have been busy trying to find out, figure out how she could look better. But no, she stayed in her place of assignment. What is your assignment? What has God called you to do? What do you find your hands doing? And now one, one fascinating thing about her assignment is that it wasn't none supernatural. It wasn't none spiritually, spiritually, spiritual. It, it didn't come from heaven. It didn't, it, 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 what her assignment wasn't dropped. The skies did not open for her assignment to fall. She didn't hear any loud or any small still voice. She just felt that there was a basic need for survival. And so she went to the mother-in-law and said, Mama, I hear that there is, there, there, there is a harvest field right around the corner. Please permit me to go work in that harvest field and bring us some food. She wanted to work. She saw the need to work. She didn't see a need for a quick get money, get rich scheme. Or a quick get money, get rich opportunity. She saw a need to work. She just wanted to make ends meet. But the Bible says that at midnight, at midnight, the man turned. And behold, a woman laid at his feet. Ruth was busy working on her assignment when she was discovered. And Boaz ends up getting married to this young woman that she found at midnight. Hear me tonight. When it comes to the issue of favor and matchmaking, God can do all the work for you. Just stay focused. And maybe tomorrow night, I'm going to share Genesis chapter 24 with you. Tell you a few things that can help you meet the right match in your life. In the, in the case of marriage, you talk to people who've been married for some time. And they would tell you, and you would realize, 8 out of 10, or 9 times out of 10, they did not plan to meet who they met. They did not plan to meet who they met when they met who they met. It happened just like that. That is the God factor. All you have to do is to stay focused. Stay on your assignment. Keep working. The work that God is. I, I mean, you might be you might be a cleaner. Be the best cleaner. Stop worrying about the fact that you ain't got no woman. You ain't got no man. You ain't got. Stop focusing on what you ain't got. 
and work what you got. Ruth did not focus on what she didn't have. She focused on what she had and she worked what she had. Work what you have. Work what you have. Work what you have. Work it and watch God work out the rest for you. I want you to type work it. Work it and watch God work the rest for you. If you are in an intercessor, a prayer leader, if you are a pastor, you are uh, uh, an accountant, a lawyer, you, are, you don't even have a, 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 any renowned title, work what you have. Work what you have. If you are a cleaner, work what you have. Whatever you do, do it with all your heart and with all your mind. I know you came on tonight believing that we're going to pray some dangerous prayers. But this is one prayer that can save your life. Work it. God is the master matchmaker. Any opportunity, every mind-blowing opportunity that I ever had in my life. Any mind-blowing opportunity that I ever had in my life, I did not plan it. All I did was to pray and keep working what I had, and God opened the door. Work what you got and watch God. Believe God. There got to be a God factor, and there is a God factor. In this matchmaking business. Life is a matchmaking business. You have what somebody needs. And somebody needs what you have. Someone is looking for you. And you are looking for somebody. God knows who's looking for you. And God knows who you're looking for. And God can link you up. Remember the illustration of our precious Holy Ghost the other day. He's here. He's there and everywhere. He's where you're trying to go to. He knows who you're looking for. He's where who you're looking for is. He's where what you're looking for is. Or he's there and here at the same time. And so that man who's here and there at the same time can bring you both together. Business partners, business ideas, uh, marital partners, uh, whatever match you're looking for. It is my prayer tonight that the master matchmaker will match you up with the right match. Father, in the name of Jesus, we have tried working life by our strength. We've tried meeting people that we thought would be helpful to us. We have tried our wisdom. We have tried our strength. And our wisdom and strength has delayed and failed us. It is my prayer tonight in the name of Jesus that you match us up with the right position, with the right people. Match your people up with the right jobs, with the right properties, with the right location. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. It is my prayer tonight, O oh God, that you do this for your people quickly. In the name of Jesus, in, in matching people with new jobs, I pray that you cause your people to hear good news concerning jobs that they have applied for, even positions that they have not applied for. I pray, oh God, cause your people to hear good news today. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, Father, I believe you. I believe that only you can do it. That is why I'm crying out on behalf of the people to you. Hear my prayers tonight. 
answer your people quickly and speedily in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i pray that you match your people up even with the right doctors match your people up even with the right teachers match your people up with the right institutions match your people up with the right churches match your people up with the right men and women of god match your people up tonight in the name of jesus god of abraham God of Isaac, God of Jacob, we pray that you match us up with the people who are going to lead us to the high places that we desire to go. In the name of Jesus, Father, match your people up, oh God. Match us up today. Match us up in this week. Match us up in this month. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We pray for the right match, the right people. The right things, the right businesses, the right opportunities. In the name of Jesus, I pray that as we gather together on the 7th and the 8th of September in Dallas, Texas, for our prayer and worship experience, match the meeting up with the right people who need to be there, who have to be there. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, that as we meet at the Arlington Hilton Hotel on the 7th and the 8th of September, march this meeting up in the name of Jesus. May this meeting not be like the ship that Jonah was in that encountered a storm and almost sunk. But rather, let this meeting be a meeting that is matched up by you. An O-O Shata, a meeting that is matched up by you. In the name of Jesus, let the miracles that your people need be released in this meeting. Levo Zagavalahasa, Lezondi Kavrandiata. In the name of Jesus, let the power of the Holy Ghost Accompany us, O oh God, throughout this day, throughout this month, and on the 7th and the 8th of September in Dallas, Texas. We pray, Heavenly Father, let the heavens be open over our life. Let the heavens be open over our life. Let the heavens be open over our life. Let our stars shine. Let our helpers locate us in the name of Jesus and make us the right match for the right people. And send us, O oh God, the right matches for our destiny in Jesus' precious name. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you glory. We praise your holy name. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. I want to pray over your communion. Those of you who have it, I want to pray over your communion. Those of you who have it. And while you grab your communion, hear me. I don't want you to miss the 7th and the 8th of September in Dallas, Texas. It's actually, well, Dallas, Texas. Uh, we, it's going to be a powerful experience powerful experience i don't want you to miss it i don't want you to miss it on the 7th and the 8th at the hilton uh i believe is Arlen, uh hilton arlington hotel arlington hilton hotel hilton arlington hotel on friday the 7th of september at 7 p.m 7 p.m on friday the 7th of september and then of course uh on saturday the 8th in the morning normally we have a sound of prayer and worship we come together early in the morning to pray uh it's called a sound of prayer and worship that is when prayer and worship comes together it's just prayer and worship throughout a group of people will be worshiping a group will be praying throughout very early in the morning and right after that i'm doing training i'm doing training which is not you know which is a, i mean a closed session training on prayer and prayer patterns uh is powerful 
powerful, powerful, powerful. God bless you. Uh, and then that night on Saturday evening, I believe we gather together again. I believe at 7 p.m. or so, we gather together again for the grand finale. It's such an experience you don't want to miss. If you have been to any of our prayer and worship experiences, uh, you know, or any of my meetings, you know exactly what to expect. Each round goes higher and higher. And so I want you to spread the news. Well, grab your communion, lift it up. If you don't have uh, communion, just grab bread and water or wine. I'm going to pray over it for you. I believe that this is very, very needed in our days. In our days. You don't know what you are going to walk into. We don't know what you're going to walk into in this day. But the blood of Jesus can preserve you. The blood of Jesus can protect you. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, that you change this into the body and blood of Christ. As we partake in this communion tonight, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, let your power, Shavalosata, let your power reign over our life. Let the blood of Jesus preserve and protect us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I pray tonight, Heavenly Father, as we partake in this communion, Father, let our eyes be open. Let our ears be open in the name of Jesus. Let our family members who are not even partaking in this communion be protected by this as we partake in this communion tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, your word declares in the book, in, in, in the gospel, that anyone that eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. Speaking of Jesus, I pray tonight in the name of Jesus that you, O oh God, will cause the same wisdom that abided in Jesus to abide in us. The same anointing, let it be released upon us. Because Jesus said before he left this earth, he said that the things that you have seen me do, even greater shall you do, if only you believe. I pray tonight as we partake in this communion, Lord, make us candidates of greatness and Cause us indeed to walk in, in greatness and do great things. The Bible declares that they that know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploit. I pray tonight as we partake in this communion, increase us in strength. Increase our family members in strength in Jesus' name and cause us to do exploits. Things that men, that men call impossible, I pray that you use us to do those things. Father, blow our minds. Father, blow our minds. Father, surprise us in this day. Good surprises, pleasant surprises as we partake in this communion in the name of Jesus. Let every sickness in our body, in our family be healed tonight as we partake in this communion. As it is written, by his stripes we are healed. We thank you tonight for healing. In Jesus' precious name, amen. God bless you. May God favor you. May God preserve you. Hey, I want you to do me a favor. Those of you who are going to attend, who are sure you're going to attend uh, the prayer and worship experience, I want you to get on the website. It's vincntkpodio.org. Get on that org. Get on that. Oh, I'm told it's not the registration link is not on that com yet, but it is on that org. And so get on that org and click. I mean, register. All right. Register for free. It just lets us know that you are going to be in attendance. Uh, and also, if we have to get a bigger place or so, we, we it helps us forecast. And so I want you. I'm coming soon. Don't you worry. We're going to come to Maryland again soon. All right? And so, is this a Christian scope? Yes. All right? So, I want you to register. Register for free, of course. Register for free. And uh, just so that you we know you come in and then when you do come, you have a place to sit. All right? So, register. Register. Register on the website. Is v i n c e n t k p o d o dot org? Can I have someone put it up? I need five people on Facebook. Put it up for me. V i n c e n t k p o d o dot org. Also, the registration link I believe is on 
this broadcast is on this broadcast and so i want you to register register on the website if you are attending may god bless you may god preserve you may god cause his face to shine upon you facebook is there a delay thank you hey christy annie thank you very much for putting it up for me god bless you may god give you a testimony to share all right god bless you if you have a testimony Pray for my children and I from Colorado. God bless you. I will keep you lifted in prayer. You are in Colorado. You can uh, fly down to Dallas. That would be, that'd be great. Introduce yourself. Let me meet with you in Dallas. All right? Let me know it's you in Dallas. All right? God bless you. If you have a testimony, share it on the website. Share it on the website. The Bible says they overcame by the blood. And by the word of their testimony, your testimony can save a life. Allow your testimony to save a life. Allow your testimony to save a life. Share your testimony. Share your testimony. God bless you. I love you. I'm praying for you. In Jesus' name. Alan, I look forward to seeing you on the 7th and the 8th. You live in Houston. That's just a, a flight or a drive. Love y'all. Shalom. God bless you. Share the video if you have not shared it already. Prayer Network. May God bless you. May God preserve you. May God favor you. In Jesus' name. Shalom. 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 In Jesus' name. God bless y'all. Shalom.